logarithm. So logarithm now, where it is used? So here you can see that if it is x power y equal to z, if this is a term given, we can express x in terms of z and y by writing as x is equal to z to the power 1 by y. So in general, this z can be expressed in terms of x and y or x can be expressed in terms of z and y. So this is what is written here, z can be expressed in terms of x and y or x can be expressed in terms of z and y, but y cannot be expressed directly in terms of x and y. So this place we can make use of the logarithm. So in terms of logarithm, we can explain this y term. So you can write this y as equal to log of z to the base x. So here the logarithm of any number to a given base is the index or the power to which the base must be raised in order to equal given number. So y is nothing but the log of z to the base x. So this is what I have explained there. And now in case if you have this 10 square equal to 100. So this can be written as log of 100 to the base 10 is equal to 2. So this 2 is expressed in terms of log of 100 to the base 10. And here in the logarithm, there are two things which is called characteristic and mantissa. The characteristic is the integral part and mantissa is the decimal part of the logarithm. So whatever the result you get for this, this integral part and decimal part. So this characteristic is the integer value and this is after the decimal point, whatever you have that is the decimal point is the mantissa. So logarithm is always positive and also there are two types of logs which you have that is one is natural logarithm and the second one is common logarithm. So natural is one where the base is E and the common logarithm the base is 10. And also there are some more like it is not that only you have the two kinds. These are the common one which either you will have base as E or base as 10. You can also have any other base like in the previous example I have given this log of Z base X is equal to Y. So this X can be anything. The common one is these two. Certain rules which you had to follow here for solving this logarithm problems log of a to the base a equal to 1. So if you want the explanation like how it is, uh, like what we have written earlier, like a power, this 1 is nothing but the power which is equal to a. So obviously log of a, that is this is 1 or if I consider this as x, what is the value of x? So if I put this x, you know that a power x is equal to a, obviously this has to be only 1. So x is equal to 1. Similarly, log of 1 to the base a equal to 0. So here again, this a power 0, a, this is the power which is equal to 1. So a power 0 obviously has to be 1 or if I do not write this a equal to 1, so what should be the power? The power has to be definitely 0, so that is why it is 0. So this is just an explanation and the rule 3 again, log of mn to the base a can be written as log of m to the base a plus log of n to the base a. Log of m by n to the base a can be written as log of m to the base a minus log of n to the base a. Then log of b power c to the base a, wherever the power is there that can be brought to this side outside. So this c can be brought here and that is log of b to the base a into c. And the next is log of b to the base a. You can also write this as 1 divided by and you can interchange these two. So log of a to the base b. And log of b to the base a also can be written in terms of the other base taking this base out. That is log of b to the base c divided by log of a to the base c. Then log of b power y to the base a power x. So as it was already given that this can be brought out, 
So here the y will come out. Similarly, when you bring it down, this a power x comes up and this becomes a base. So again, this x will come out. Then a to the power log base a is also equal to b. So these are the certain conditions based on this we can solve the problems.